So here is our first algorithm, and we are going to trace through the algorithm. Now, what that means is that we are going to build up a table uh, that we're going to fill in as we go. And in some cases, it's going to output some values for us. Um, and through that, hopefully, we'll be able to see what the algorithm is actually doing. So how you should start this is you should look for uh, letters in the algorithm and they should become your column headers. So I can see that we've got an N and we've got an A and we've got a B. Okay, and I can also see that we've got a C. And there's no other letters, but I see that in step four there's this write down C. So for that, we quite often refer to it as print. It's as if you're kind of like, they're the values that um, your algorithm is outputting. Okay, so that's what we'll have. This is going to be our table. Now, sometimes um, in an exam, the table will be drawn out for you. Uh, it might also have the labels at the top already, okay? Now, the way to go through this is that each line that we go through, each stage, you should go to a new line. So at the start, so step one, let n is equal to one, a equals one, and b equals one, okay? Now, because we're going to the next step, we should go to the next line in our trace table. Write down A and B. So we are writing down, so I was going to just write down A and B. Uh, A is 1 and B is 1. Okay, so we're going to the next line, so we should have a draw a line underneath that. So let's C be equal to A plus B. So A is 1, B is 1, so C is now 2. Write down C. Right, so that's in our print. So 2 goes there. Let n be equal to n plus 1. a equals b, b equals c. So if n is equal to n plus 1, we take the n that's there, we add 1 to it, and n is now 2. So this is effectively saying let the new n be the old n plus 1. A now becomes B, so 1, and B becomes C, 2. OK, so we draw a line underneath that. If N is less than 5, we go to step 3, which it is. So we're going back to step 3. Let C be equal to A plus B. So C is equal to A plus B. 1 plus 2 is 3. Draw a line. Write down C. Let n be equal to n plus 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. a is equal to b, so 2, and b is equal to c, so 3. If n is less than 5, which it is, go to 3. c is equal to a plus b, so 2 plus 3 is 5. Write down c, draw a line. Okay, let n be equal to n plus 1, so that's now 4, a is equal to b, so 3, b is equal to c, so that's 5. Draw a line. If n is less than 5, which it is, because it's 4, we go to step 3. Let c be equal to a plus b, so that's 8. We write down c, okay? And then, almost out of space. And then finally, um, oh, I've drawn another line there. There we are. Let n be equal to n plus 1, so 5. a is equal to b, uh, so that's 5. b is equal to c, so that's 8. 
if n is less than 5, go to step 3. Well, it's not. It's 5. So we go to the next step. If n is 5, we stop. So we stop. OK? So I have now traced through my algorithm. Now, looking at it, can we determine what it's actually done? When you're doing this, consider the print column. What has your algorithm outputted? So we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Now, you might be spotting 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. And the next one would have been 5 plus 8 is 13. OK, so what this is doing is it is outputting the first few terms of Fibonacci's sequence. OK, so that is what the algorithm does. This is our first tracing the algorithm. OK, um, so you can see how this works.